Hi guys, it's me Karen and I've come to do a flip through of my collection of books. This is a requested um, video, so I even had to ask a couple questions because I've never done a uh, complete uh, flip through of all the books that I own. And I didn't exactly know how people do this, <laughs> so I had to ask. And um, what we came up with is a couple of my friends on YouTube helped me out with this. So it was flip through, and if this is the first one you do, then you can show the pictures also in the books. And then if you do this again, you just do a flip through of the books themselves. So I am just going to do a quick show you the book, kind of maybe a flip through very quickly because you've probably seen most of them. If there is a book that I have that you want a detailed flip through, please leave a comment down below and what book it is and I will do that for you. Other than that, we're just going to kind of go through these kind of quickly, hopefully. I don't have a whole ton, so <laughs> don't think we're going to be here for like six hours or anything. It's just going to be what it is. So first off, Secret Garden. First book. <laughs> this is the first book I bought. I had found um, Joanne Basford up on um, either it came up on my Facebook page or it came up on YouTube at some point when I was flipping through to watch something and she had a freebie of a picture and I thought huh, I could color that would be fun so sat down, colored it, bought her first book. <laughs> There's only a couple of pictures in here that I colored. So uh, I'll go ahead and show you. Um, this is my first coloring. So I did, um, I think there's gel pen on here. And of course I started off with Prisma. Gel pens on this one. I did not put my name in it. And then the very, very first page I did was this one. Okay. So I do get out my distress inks for this, but there's a lot of uh, glitter on this page. And this took forever. And that was probably why I didn't color anymore in this book. <laughs> and um, this here is a test page of pencils when I started getting other types of pencils to try them out. But there is nothing else colored in this book. So that's it secret garden. And then I got, of course, the Lost Ocean. This was the um, printout that I got for Joanna Bassford on the internet and I colored this one and I thought, well, I like that. Maybe I'll just keep coloring. It's a part of this book somewhere in here. I don't even know if I colored anything in here, so we will do a quick um, of this book and it probably when I looked at it these are really really tiny leaves really really tiny things I did a little border here <laughs> I think that's a gel pen <laughs> that's it in this book Okay, we got the Enchanted Forest because I like this book too. Of course, I like all her books, so don't laugh at my coloring. <laughs> this was when I first started. Tried to do some texture on the trees. It didn't really turn out. I do have a cute little snail down here. And of course, all the leaves look the same. And they're all done with an outline of a gel pen and then colored in with the Prismacolors. And the owl is very colorful. And I'm probably pretty sure that's the only one done in this book also. Oh, no, I did the owl. That's right. I like my owl. Now this uh, I did recently. <laughs> I mean, that a long time ago. More recent. See, the leaves aren't the same colors. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, I like that little guy. But yeah, that's it in that book. I haven't been coloring that long, so. <laughs> um, I started coloring uh, on YouTube um, about a year ago. Probably about six months prior to that is when I started coloring for my own enjoyment. This is the Christmas book. I know I did a picture or I thought about doing a picture, put it that way. Okay, did not color a picture in here yet. Nope. Beautiful book though. I'm going to color in that one. And then I was gifted this beautiful book, Inky and Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. And I did the um, title page here. So I put the um, ink drops coming down off the butterfly and then my idea is to make every butterfly that's in the story the uh, same kind of butterfly. But I haven't gotten into coloring it yet because I want to read the story first and I haven't gotten through the story. So when I get the story read, then I'll have a better idea of what I want to color the pages as. So that's that book. Then I have the time chamber. These are the first pictures I put up on Instagram are in this book. Okay. So we have the page here. And we've done some splattering with ink. This is all background is distress ink and then this is all Prisma and Prisma Scholars because the Scholars set has the neons and I had a very small set of Prismas at that time. Pretty sure there's another page in here. Yeah, this one. So I tried the, um, the bubbles on this, I, all I did was to take a piece of, um, this is like the backing of a package and I would put it down and ink around it. The ones that are the opposite is the outside. You, know, you punch this with a punch and then you have the negative and the positive. This positive, the nether, you'd lay that down in ink and it would get this nice shadowing had fun with that. And then the key over on this side. And that is that on that set. Okay, next set. Kirby Roseanne's books. <laughs> Watched Dee Dee Willingham on her channel and she was doing, um, gosh, I think it was a lion or something standing up. And I was like, Oh my goodness, that book is so cool. Just probably like everybody else did. So, bought the whole um, set. Flipping through to see if I colored anything in here. No. <laughs> Love the book, but haven't colored in it. Uh, Mythomorph, yeah. I have some in this one. I did the Kraken. It's not like I picked a page that had small little things, did I? I just went right in for a double spread. Ah, then I did the uh, the tree guy. Started the bunny, or bunnelope, or whatever you want to call him. I did some work on the feet and beak on this guy. And that is it. Imagimorphia. <laughs> I thought I would color in this one. So what I did was I took the seashell page. This side is done in Prismacolors and I had bought a little set of polychromos and thought I would use them on this side and do a comparison of um, the, tried to pick the same colors, colored things almost the same or tried to. The horns are all colored the same. I did the inking the same in the backgrounds just so I could tell which one was what. And then I I didn't tell my daughter which one I did and I asked her which one she thought was brighter and better looking. <laughs> just to get her opinion. And she liked the Prismacolors better. 
and they were easier for me to use so I went ahead and said well I'll we'll just use my Prismos and I'll try to upgrade that set so I started buying pencils um, on you know open market whatever you want to call it I did this one and I actually did this uh, with distress inks um, the tail uh, some of the whale some of the leaves or waves leaves <laughs> just went through all those Joanna Basford books, Leaves on the Brain. And I thought to myself, well, not just backgrounds. I could actually use the ink doing the pages. So I started using Distress Ink to paint the pages with. And I had a lot of fun with that. I don't know if I did any more pages in this book, but we will look really quick. Nope, that's it. Now, Thanamorphia came into my life. <laughs> I love the wolf on the front cover. I was very disappointed that the wolf back end was not in the book. So that was something I had to fix. And this book is falling apart. I took a photocopy of the back of the book and I cut it down and it fit perfectly in here. So I colored my wolf all together. This book is a completed book. Every page done in here. And I mean from the cover, little silly pages to everyone. They are one-sided pages, which made it easy to color. The glue in here, I guess, isn't the best because they are all falling apart, but at least they have a folder to sit in. All these are done with Distress Ink and um, Prisma Pencils. A little bit of glitters are added in here and there, and they were just glitter gel pens. I didn't, I don't believe I used any stickles in this book because they're all flat. This is all gel pin on his wings. That took forever. <laughs> Turned out pretty, but boy, that was long. All distress ink backgrounds. I painted him with distress inks and then just added um, pencil in there. Give him some splatters. This is done with a metallic black paint on the background. So it uh, shimmers like crazy. Then I went to black matte paint. <laughs> uh, there's a stencil in the background here. So we did matte paint from now on. The uh, Distress Inks. We got some Wink Costella on our little guy here. This I just did in red and brown Distress Ink. A little bit of pencil, but no other colors. And this is my little itty bitty background stamp with the little speckles used it here also. This one has got gold paint on the crown. This is my, I'm going to throw everything in the world on this page. So I did each little bug. I've got a coffee stain stamp. It looks like coffee drips here. Put on many colors of a distress ink and splattered it up. But it turned out kind of cool. And then of course the the wolf in the back. Even did some inking around the pages to make them look old. <laughs> anyway, my first completed book. Love it. At the same uh, kind of design, I went and got this book. Did the front cover. I did a um, unicorn in this book too, but my daughter took that. But I have not um, done any more pages. That's kind of pretty. I might do that next. Anyway, so I'll get another stack of books. Okay. <laughs> All my books are in a different room, so <laughs> I have to go back and forth. This is the um, kind of the fantasy fairy era. <laughs> I only have a couple books, but I thought those are cool. Saw them on a video. Kind of where all my books come from. So I started 
um, coloring these, and stickles became a nice little thing to color in these books with. They are really thin paper. I don't have a lot. Oh, I got my uh, Cali markers at this time too, so I was trying it on grayscale. Test page. Um, done some pages. She's getting a little bit of red, but they're also kind of uh, Halloween-y, so I was leaving some of these for um, Halloween, I guess. I didn't do a video on the last girl in pink, but I had to do the video here for the green, or the pink hair, because somebody wanted to know how I did it, so I did this one also. She's got stickles on her eyes, and I made the lace down here, and I think I made a strap on I may have made her outfit. I don't know. I, I know I draw something on here. I think those are the only two in that book. And then we have um, this one I did. I did all the lace work down here. She, I got a video on her somewhere on my channel. Probably have one on her too. Um, just some rainbow hair. Okay, so these books are really thin and sometimes I'll just do skin and then not finish them. So that's that one. I have this beautiful book and I don't believe I have uh, colored in it yet. It's a smoother paper and I don't even think I have uh, tried with anything on it. I probably got this one. Thank you very much. And I stuck it in a pile and it just got put away. Now I've done the front page on this and it is all stickled up. I started another page uh, with the kitty and the gal. These are um, Prismacolors. I'm trying to think about her skin is done in Prisma. You can tell by the waxy finish. And I wasn't too pleased with the flowers, but they'll get fixed. But those are the only two pictures in that one. I have this one, and I have not started any pictures in it yet. The vintage coloring book. I have a few um, in here. Started the skin on this one and did the camera, but haven't done the background. I have this gal with the uh, birds in her hair. <laughs> I thought she was just cute. So I did a little bit of sponging down here with some white matte paint and just did a distressed background. And I did this one, Distress Ink with a stencil in the back. And I believe that's it. And then this book. Love this book. I started coloring in this and just went to town on all of the pages. I haven't finished the book yet, but I was getting kind of close. My snake, these are all done with distress ink and then a little bit of pencil on top. The gems and the eyes are all done with Prismacolor pencils. Do, 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 do. The owls. I believe there are videos on some of these. I got my little kitty. And my fox. I don't think I got anything else. Or a wolf. This owl. And then the bunny page. And I think that's it. Then we got the two Jasmine Beckett Griffith books. I saw these and thought, oh, those are really pretty. And um, I've started a couple pages. I don't know what to do in the background. I don't know what color to do her dress. Um, I did this one. I started this one. <laughs> I did a little um, butterfly gal down here. 
Started the faces on these. Started uh, this one, didn't finish it. Then I got the Halloween one. And I don't know if I touched this one. I uh, put some faces with markers, and this is where I decided me and markers are <laughs> not on friendly terms. <laughs> on little pictures, that's okay. Bigger pictures, I'm not good at it. Flowers and gems. I'm not sure. This is really thick paper. I think I did one in here, maybe. But I mean, it's gorgeous. All these pages. And I was waiting to um, pick up some pan pastels to do in this book. And I started one here. So she's done in the pastels and then um, the metallic paints that I have. And I just haven't finished her up yet. And I've got this one back here that I did in the pastels too. And then I distressing background. And that's it in that book. I have the Little Town Christmas too, and I haven't gotten to it at Christmas time. I was I started the gingerbread house. That's pastels. Yep. <laughs> I was doing the um, Hannah Carlson books, which are coming up next. Hold on. Okay, I've got a few more of the um, kind of soft back books before we get to the Hannah Carlson books. <laughs> so we have the Magic Christmas. I like this book. It's it's um, a bunch of different mandalas. I've done a couple. Here's the blue one I've done, and it is with the hybrid Pentel pens. I think that turned out really pretty. A little distress ink in the background. I have one more in here. They are on both sides, so doing your alcohol ink may not be a good idea. This one is done with um, gel pans and the Prisma colors. And I took a while to get all these teeny tiny leaves done. But it turned out really pretty. So those are the two. I did a little bit of inking around the edge for that blue edge and then used the gel pen to do the scalloping on the outside. Only two pages done in that book. And you've seen a couple of these done um, on my channel. I've done these also with the Distress Ink. I haven't finished this page. I did some fishies and they have stickles on them. They glitter nice. Um, a lion. I did a kitty in here too, I think. Yes, the kitty cat. And I think there's the blue page. I did that with the Sargent Art Supreme Pencils along with some gel pens. Loved how that turned out. And then I have another kitty. This is done with just Distress Ink and an uh, eraser to do the uh, little white dots. Other than that, there's a little stamping with the ink too. I did a little fishy on this side. And then this is all gel pen. He's a really colorful birdie. <laughs> and that's it in that one. Then I have these two beautiful books. I'm not going to try to pronounce their names. Uh, I have to see. I started a picture in one of these. I don't think it was this one. So we'll try this one. Yep, here we've got our little pink. He's um, really shiny. <laughs> He's done with the um, paint set that I have that uh, is the iridescent paint. It's really cool. 
And I think I have another one here. Yes, I started this page. I did, I don't believe I did a video on this. It took a, a while. And then I was going to do a um, video on this half, but there's a little problem with somebody doing a picture just like this and doing the whole page. And I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> anyway, that's that book. I haven't done any more in that. Now we come to my collection of Hannah Carlson. I need to thank somebody. There'll be a video coming up about this one. I have the, um, I had the two, now I have three of the postcard books. And these are so cool. This one's new, but I'm going to do a, a, a thank you on this one. And they're, they're just cute little pictures. They're done on extremely hard card, and then you can send them through the mail. And Kenny's gotten one of these. So they're, they're really fun. So the one I did is already sent out in the mail, so I can't show you. Then we have, not particular order, the jewelry box. Which I did the bunny page in. I still have the plastic sheeting in here for that. And I think that may be the only page I did in here. Bunny page, and that was done for Easter with the daydreams. And I think I've done, oh, I've got this one all mapped out to do. <laughs> I did this page. Started a seashell. And I think that's it. That's going to be a beautiful page done up. Yep, that's it in that one. Summer Nights. Done a few in here. And here we are, the stickles again. A nice and shiny page. And we'll have to see. Oh, did the mushrooms. <laughs> Aren't they cute? I uh, did a buddy color in this book with this page here. And we've got the... Uh, glitter going throughout here on all the gems and the wings of the guy there this page uh, it's matte black background painted in there and then just colored prismacolors I believe prismacolors out throughout this whole book and the bird here just checking but I did one more in this book. Yeah, I did the um, butterfly here. And that's matte black in the background there also. Because I didn't do a video <laughs> on this page, I did this in the same colors. Except for I added a lot more hot pink in this one. A little star there. And I did this butterfly here. Did a lot of splattering there in the background and he's got glitter all over him too seasons and this is where i spent uh christmas coloring in this guys the little mouse and all the ornaments put snow up on the trees it turned out really cute and then of course christmas was a very big or very busy season for me. And then there's this book, <laughs> Magical Dawn. <laughs> you all have been following my channel, you know I'm coloring in this book. And we're doing it all in the same colors. So we're using a pink, purple, green, blue, and black. And then if there's a need for uh, brown, and we'll go through and find the pages here. Uh, this one is just a kind of a test page that I was doing. I will finish it, but there is no video on that one. There is a video on almost every other page in here. So we have the 
double spread with the love how those butterflies turned out and this one there's a lot of uh, stickles glitter on on these pages this whole book is got that happy vibe to it this one's done and all the little sparkles back here and just by changing the uh, pattern of the pencils that I use you get kind of a different effect so not all of it is all pink so we just bring out the purple in one a blue in another one so the pages are going to turn out really nice find another one in here okay it's going to be the birdie we just did this one and this is where we had to bring in the extra color I allow myself that now just in case I've got a little green snake working here <laughs> we've got the um, houses and this is done with silver uh, stickles brings it out nicely here we've got the pink flowers and the two birds a bunch of stickles on them and this little guy over here as you can see how brightly he is done so all that shine there is just the stickles put down and here we did the bottles this is with the purple background and the silver I have to go through this book kind of carefully because I've got a lot of these done <laughs> I've got my royal bird and he is done with the um, the diamond stickles to give him a nice regal look he's even got it on his beak here and then this lady and that is it in this book so most of those have got videos and I'll get the uh, next pile okay this should be the last pile and leave that one for last because it's mostly completed <clears throat> so we have a million Christmas kitty cats it's just cats but I love this book I saw it I fell in love with it I didn't get it until I don't know February <laughs> so I can't color in it yet <laughs> I was gifted this gorgeous book and I have done a couple of pages I believe in here I did my ink tents my first picture with this dragon and I think he turned out really cool he's got um glitter on him too everywhere there's gold and then the stars up here covered in glitter and I just finished a uh, page back here the mice in the I made bubbles in here for their hot tub and um, put bubbles in on the background the mice are done in the ink tents everything else is done with a mix between Prismacolors and Polychromos. I started it in polys and then finished it in Prismas. Ink tints um, back, or no, these are Graphitints in the uh, bottle. So that's painted um, with that and then these guys are done in ink tints and glitter and everything else on this page. I haven't even posted that yet. This was fun to do. I just used a stencil and inked it uh, with two different colors of ink and then I just drew in some white bubbles it turned out really cute I forgot a couple of Joanna's books so while I have them here I will do them together um, Becky uh, did a um, community color along in this book so I had picked out two pages so we have the green um, butterfly uh, distress ink in the background, Prisma colors, and white ma um, matte acrylic paint. And the other page is this one, the two columns or two cans, whichever way you want to pronounce it. I believe there's a little bit of um, ink tints, distress ink, pencils. I uh, believe there's a video for both of those pages. Only two done in that book. I had to buy that one. For that <laughs> I have this book and I did a little test here with the oxide ink 
and it went over all the black lines and I wasn't crazy about that. It did it in this book. If you're doing a background that you don't have to touch the black lines, it's a really good ink for that, but if you have to cover them, it's going to fade your picture. So, I did my... <laughs> going to do a black background. Everything's going to do in the black grayscale and then the butterfly to be brought out and glittered up because he is glittered like crazy. I had fun with that page. I've done a plain brown one in this one also. I like the paper in this book. It's nice. I like how that turned out. There's a tiny bit of pink in the flowers. Um... Yeah, well, that's the start of a picture. <laughs> I did a blue fish, and he's got um, glitter on him also. It's a, the hybrid Pentel pen. I uh, started a shelf, and when I was doing a flip through this book, I said you can always do little pieces at a time, and kind of that's how this page is turning out. Little pieces. And after I mentioned that, I started this page. <laughs> and I did one block at a time until the whole thing was done. And it didn't take too long. This one was all done, I believe, in the Sargent Art with a little bit of Prisma. And then each square I sectioned off and did Distress Ink inside of. And then there's black um, pen on around the edges. I believe that's it in that one. I have this gorgeous little book and have not colored in it yet. I just got it not too long ago. Yeah, nothing in there yet. It was Mermaid or Mer May this month, so I did a page in here. So she is in a bathtub and uh, we have got so much glitter on her, it's ridiculous. Her bubbles. <laughs> are coming out of the tub and all these are the bubbles that have fallen down. She's done with um, polychromos and that took a very long time to do. There's a video on this. She turned out really pretty though. I like that. I don't think... I mean there's a... One more picture in here that I did a while back. There's a video on her, I believe. And then there's nothing else in that book. I was just given this book and I have not colored in it yet. Although it is really pretty. <laughs> I haven't gotten a chance to do it yet. Mouse guard. Now, I have colored a page in here. I mean, I got the book and I sat down and I colored a page. <laughs> this is all done in ink tints. Um, probably has a little bit of distress ink going on in it, but all painted. Mm, cute little mouse. I love this book. I have these two books. Um, this one I did a little coloring down here. This is, I believe, watercolor. But I have not gotten in to color any of these gorgeous pages yet. So May, May is doing a really pretty page in that. I don't believe I've even colored in this one yet, but, um, oh, started a nose of the mouse. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> Haven't got very far. Okay, we have my find color book. And yes, I have colored in this one, and most of this will either be in ink tints or watercolor. So, another page here. Um, trying to remember how many I did. Did this one. This one's in watercolor. And then pencils, I believe, down on the edges. I don't know. There's a video on it. This is where I used uh, this tool to put these dots. So I just dipped it in um, the nat paint and just dotted those on. 
that's how they've got to be the same size. <laughs> I thought it turned out pretty cool. Okay. This one is a video. Did that in just dress inks. Oh, I'm in, in ink tents. Sorry. I love my inks. There is no video for this one. This one was done in, um, I believe it was two tones of the uh, ink tents, a brownish tone, and then the Shiraz or Shiraz, whichever way you want to pronounce it. That color is in here, and then a little bit of white uh, Prisma. The gold shiny paint is that wonderful watercolor that I have that does the gold. And then we have a pen that we worked on in here too. The uh, hybrid gold metallic pen. I have one more in here. Somewhere. I missed her. She's in the cage. There she is. So she was the one I did that as a test page to find out what I could and could not put in this book. So we have Distress Ink. We have, this is where I used my Neo Color 2s. Um, we did the ink tents. We did the Distress Ink. We did the pencils, both Prisma and Polychromos. And uh, we did some gel pens on the cage and watercolor. Everything's on that page. <laughs> But that's it in that book. Then we have these two beautiful books I was gifted. And I've done one picture in one of these. It's probably the other book. I want to do that one. I mean, I want to do a lot of things. I just, time is getting away from me. Okay, what do we have? This one. Okay, this is the one I did the fox in. I had to find it. I don't think I have anything else started in here. I did a little bit of uh, this one. And I did the little bird test page. See if it, what I can use in the book. I think there was something else. Dying to do that page too. Okay, one more book. <laughs> 